So after doing web, being webmaster, you'll need to do the same thing for Google Webmaster. The odd thing is that there are two separate products, Google Webmasters and Google Analytics. Technically now it's called Google Search Console. But you need to set both of these up. Whereas with Bing, it's just one setup. Bing will give you both of these bits of information on one account. Google, because they've been around longer, they originally had the webmaster tools and then added analytics, or vice versa. But they're two separate products that tell you two slightly different bits of information. Perhaps in the future they will integrate them both together. But right now we would need to set them both up. And once we've got all of this stuff set up, we're going to be able to see so much detail about the traffic coming to our site, what to do with it, and all of that. So usually I spend day two like this, very hands-on, uh, make sure it works, and then we end the day. We're just about at the end of the day. When we come back next time, we should have all of this set up, because then we'll have a week that hopefully we're collecting some data. So when we come back next week, I'm going to go into the Webmaster Tools, and I'm going to show you this is this screen, this is the meaning of that screen, pay attention to this, and uh, other things such as backlinks. You're going to see the concept of backlinks, very important. I'll explain what they are next time. But we're going to end the main lecture here. You then, either in the time we have left here, or at home, you will go to these links, and you try to set them up, and they will be very similar to what we saw with Bing. Any general questions about things we talked about today? All right, so we're going to have a little lab time until 1, and then uh, we will continue next time. Question?